AISO latest T3A smart soldering station. Here it comes. Now there are two versions to choose from. One is T3A integrated soldering station. And another is T3A smart soldering station standard package. This video focuses on the T3A integrated soldering station. Unboxing T3A smart soldering station. Inside, there is a C245K200 knife, soldering tip, and a T245 handle. A ground wire. A handle holder, a host. And two small screws. Installation of T3A smart soldering station. There are two stickers under the handle holder. Tear off the sticker and stick it on the host. First, align the corresponding screw holes of the handle holder and the host. Tighten with the two small screws provided. Unpacking the T245 handle. There are also two non-slip and anti spelled silicone rubber cases. Soft texture, comfortable to hold. Connect the pentagonal aviation plug of the handle to the host. Rotate the silver screw to fasten. T3A smart soldering station is compatible with T245 and T12 handle. It only takes 4 seconds for the T245 handle to heat up to 380 degree C. T12 features fast heating, quick reheat and is affordable. The heating speed of the soldering tip is about 6 seconds. Put the required soldering tip directly into the corresponding handle. Precautions, when inserting or removing the tip, try not to touch it directly with the skin, it can be directly inserted and removed on the handle holder. Insert the ground wire into the banana socket on the back of the host. It's used for electrostatic protection. Over the banana socket, there is a DC socket, which can output 24V direct current. Plug the power cord into the socket behind the host. The T3A is not equipped with a power cord, users need to purchase by themselves. Plug the other end of the power cord into the power source. This is what it looks after the installation. Alloy Shell Super anti-static isolation design, meeting industrial ESD standards. Maximum 24 V 8 a current output, built-in DC power supply and burn-in function. Connect with AISON platform to update the software of the soldering station. Upgrade the functions infinitely. Connect the USB cable to the Type-C interface on the left side of the host. Connect to computer. Open AISON official website on the computer. Download AISON software. After the installation, open AISON software. Register an account and login. The platform can identify the device automatically. Click on the top bar to switch to English. Here the current software version is 1.33. The latest version is 1.34. Select the latest version and click upgrade. It will be upgraded to the latest version. Interfaces operation and functions introduction. Turn on the power switch of the T3A soldering station. There are different icons and parameters on the screen. On the top bar, it displays respectively as the working voltage. The normal working voltage of T3A is 24V. When the supplied voltage is lower than 15V, the soldering station will switch to under voltage protection mode. The second one is the boot time. Here it shows that this T3A has been used for 20 seconds. The time display is convenient for users to view and record the operation time during operating. There is also an automatic reminder function for fatigue work. When the boot time reaches 4 hours, it will buzz. And a window shows in, time for relaxing, will pop up. The third one is the current firmware version. When new functions are released, Users need to upgrade the station to the latest version to enjoy new functions. The fourth one is the temperature inside the case. The current temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. There is an icon of handle on the right side of the screen. T3A can identify the handle model automatically. Here we can see that the current handle model is T245. The most prominent number in the middle referring to the real-time changes of the temperature. 
There are three sets of numbers, displayed below the temperature, which refers to the shortcuts for temperature settings. Press the CH button to quickly switch temperatures among the three channels, or rotate the knob. To customize any heating temperature between 100 and 500 degrees Celsius, set the heating temperature to 300 degrees Celsius. Pick up the handle. It will stop heating up after the temperature rises to 300 degrees Celsius. Put the handle back into the handle holder. The soldering station enters standby mode and the temperature drops rapidly. The number displayed in zero above the temperature, indicating that the standby temperature is off. Press the knob to enter the curve interface. The temperature is displayed on the left and the power is displayed on the right. Press the knob again to return to the main interface. In the standby mode, the temperature will stop dropping when reaches to normal temperature. If you need to set the standby temperature, press the set button to enter the setting interface of T3A. There are 10 options in the setting interface. Switch to standby temp. Select standby temp to set the standby temperature. Press set button to go back. You can also set standby delay here. After putting the handle into the holder, it will enter standby mode automatically when reaches the delay time. Standby photo can be turned on or off. Select echo time to set the time to exit standby mode automatically. Select screen rest to automatically turn off the screen. If there is no operation within the set time, pick up the soldering tip to wake up the host and enter the heating mode. In settings, the first one is Temp Cali, which is used to calibrate the actual temperature of the handle. The temperature on the left row refers to the temperature displayed on the T3A. For example, we set the heating temperature as 300 degrees Celsius. When it reaches 300 degrees Celsius, the 300 displayed at that time is just the number on the first row on the Temp Cali interface. The numbers on the right row is the actual temperature of the handle. We can detect the actual value of the current soldering handle. With the digital display thermometer, touch the tip to the solder point of the thermocouple. The actual temperature of the handle will be shown on the digital display thermometer. It shows that the current temperature of the handle is 305 degrees Celsius. Switch to the third line of Temp Cali. Adjust the numbers to the actual temperature 305. Press the knob to calibrate. Heating the handle to 300 degrees Celsius. Test again. The actual temperature is displayed as 300 degrees Celsius, which is consistent with the temperature displayed on the host. Temperature calibration complete. The third one is max temp. The default option is turn off. The knob will be limited when the max temp is turned on. We can set any temperature between 100 and 500 degrees Celsius. Select the option with temperature display. Rotate the knob to set the upper limit of the temperature. Here we set the upper limit as 300 degrees Celsius. Back to the home page. It can be seen that the maximum temperature can only be adjusted to 300 degrees Celsius with the knob. The fourth is lock temp. It's default to be turned off. Turn on the lock temp function. Go back. Here the set changes to lock. We can't adjust temperature with the knob. Lock temp is suitable for operations that need to keep the temperature stable and constant for a long time during soldering. If you want to restore the temperature adjustment function of the knob, turn off, lock temp. The sixth is, buzzer. After turning off, the station will no longer make a sound. Select, turn on, to get the sound back. The seventh is, temp shortcut. These three parameters refer to the three temperature shortcuts. At the bottom of the main interface, users can customize the temperature according to their needs. Go back. It can be seen that the temperature at the bottom of the main interface has been set as the needed value. The eighth is, Reset. If you need to adjust back to the default settings, select, Reset. 
Press the knob to confirm and the host will restart. The parameters of the three temperature shortcuts have been restored to the original values. The knife is temp unit. There are Celsius and Fahrenheit units for your option. The tenth is info. Press the knob to see the current system information. Device name T3A. Firmware version 1.33. Hardware version 1.01. T3A Smart Soldering Station It's not only convenient for users to operate, but also secure enough with reliable guarantee. Above are all the applications of T3A Smart Soldering Station. Press the switch on the back of the station. Turn off the station. The voltage declined rapidly.